Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you haven't heard of this already, be prepared to kiss your uh, productivity away for the next couple of hours because this is freaking cool. This is noclip.website. That is actually a web address, noclip.website. Not to be confused with the excellent game development documentary series, Noclip, uh, but what this allows you to do basically is peek behind the curtains of games. Uh, you can jump in and look at level data, and I recommend you do this right now because I can't promise that it's going to be on line all that long for reasons I will explain right now. So here we go. This is Noclip. You go to Noclip uh, website in your browser and you will be brought to this very minimalistic uh, website. And what you'll see here is there is a number of different games. Almost the vast majority of them here are Nintendo games. And I am not touching those with a 10 foot pole. Instead, what I will do is pick um, Dark Souls here, for example. Uh, and the reason why I am not touching the Nintendo stuff is Nintendo is the most litigious company out there. On their report card every year, they always got, does not play well with others. They suck on YouTube, they suck with the community, and in a lot of ways, they just suck. And that's why I don't expect this to be around a whole lot longer. They will Bigfoot this. They will DCMA it for some stupid reason, even though it doesn't infringe on their products in any way. What they've done is they've reverse engineered game data levels, so you could go in and see them. I'm going to go ahead and load one now. Um, let's load up everyone's favorite Dark Souls level Blight Town here. It's going to take just a few seconds to load there. It depends on the size of the level. Sometimes that can be quite a bit longer. And then once that is done, we'll give it a second. Apparently we go to 99% very, very quickly and then we slow down. What you see here is we can minimize out this interface and now using WASD keys, we can actually navigate around in the level. So using uh, WASD, we move right mouse button and orbit to look around. And what we are doing is we are looking behind the scenes in the game data level. So you can navigate everywhere. You can see how things were structured and set up. And so, and it's a great example for um, prospective level designers, especially something like Dark Souls, where they've got such intricate levels. And you can see kind of how everything works together, how everything comes together. And that is exactly what this tool does. Again, you can also use the Q and the E key to go up and down. You've also got the option of switching to an orbit style as opposed to WASD style controls. But this is exactly what it is. It basically gives you the ability to see behind the scenes in games. I'll go ahead and I'll switch out to something different. Whoa. All right. So I'll go over here and let's do uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater instead. So we'll grab... I don't know, burn. I, I, I have not played a Tony Hawk game in ages. Actually, let's load Atlanta. So we'll see how long that takes to load up. All right, here we go. We are now in Tony Hawk's levels. As you can see, these are a little bit older. Um, we have a bit of a bug going on with our mouse from when I scrolled off screen before. So we're going to constantly keep scrolling out. But here you can see, and this is a much older game, much lower resolution, as you can see. But it gives you the ability to navigate around and see how the levels and the game levels are put together. So... Again, there are a bunch here of Nintendo games, and I am not touching them because I do not want the legal ramification. So be sure to check it out yourself. But it does allow you to get in behind the scenes, see how games are made. It's called no clip because a lot of times games have no clipping modes, so you can uh, navigate to a lot of places where the camera was never intended. You're off the rail, so you can actually look around in the game level and see how things work. Now, in addition to um, the ability to navigate around game levels like this, there's a few other options here. So we've got our UI here, to switch between the various different games. Uh, again, mostly Nintendo stuff, but there's a few others here like Psychonauts, Splatoon. Oh, that's Nintendo as well. Uh, Nintendo, Nintendo. Yeah, so again, almost vast majority here being Nintendo games. Additionally, we can come here and actually look at all of the textures in the game. So you skip, flip through here. Sometimes there'll be, I'm picking an older game here, so we're only going to mostly see color channels here. But these are all the textures that go together to compose the game and close that out. We have an option here for saving state and sharing it with other people. So if you want people to be able to come to where you are, you can save out a game state and pass out a URL for someone to jump and see exactly where you are. Uh, we've got a couple of options with our viewer, so we can change the uh, field of view settings that we're using to navigate around the world. And as I mentioned earlier, we can switch between WASD keys and orbit keys, and we can also flip the Y axis. And then down here, we have some use of statistics. And this is actually kind of cool because this actually shows you uh, the frames per second we're running at, the draw calls that are going on behind the scenes, how many textures are on screen, texture binds, and so on. It gives you some of the details about the rendering that is going on here. 
And then finally, let's close that guy out. Uh, we have some of the information and about stuff on the people behind noclip.website. And that is noclip.website. And I highly recommend if this looked interesting to you, especially if you are into Nintendo stuff, go check it out now. Because again, the biggest, most meanest company out there for taking stuff down is Nintendo. So I don't expect this to stick around too long. Now on the bright side, all of the source code for the website is also open source, MIT licensed. I will make this link available down below too. So this is the reverse engineering of model formats for multiple different people, applications for full credits. Again, it's MIT licensed. So if you wanna download this for yourself as opposed to using their website, you can do so. By the way, if this kind of content is your thing, I highly recommend that you check out this following YouTube channel. It's called Boundary Break and the entire idea behind it is that they go into games and show you basically behind the scenes. They show you the stuff that was left behind, they put on no clipping, and they just basically navigate around game levels. So it gives you a lot of understanding of how a game was put together. A lot of times it shows you things that you were never meant to see that the developers put in there to make the game work, as opposed to stuff that the player should ever interact with. It's a very interesting channel, and there's hours and hours of great content here. So it's Shez's. Uh, I will link this down below. And on the topic of referrals, this one has absolutely nothing to do with no clip website or no clipping in general, but I do recommend you check out No Clip if you've never heard of it. This is crowdfunded game uh, development related stories and it is a great series. So if you're confusing No Clip with No Clip, well, that makes sense. And both No Clip and No Clip are absolutely amazing. So check both those out. I will link this down below as well. So that is um, noclip.website, one of the coolest things I've played with in a very long time. And as you guys know, I find a lot of things very, very cool. But I think you'll agree with me that this one is awesome. And hopefully uh, Nintendo doesn't squish it to hell because uh, it is a cool thing and there's a lot to be learned here. Hopefully you guys found that interesting. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.